This is K9WLW with another video on what is sometimes considered kind of a hidden feature of D-Star. Um, most of us that have been using D-Star have gotten pretty comfortable with navigating the reflectors and so on and so forth with our radio commands, but many of us are unaware that there's a special place that you can actually store your commands to link to various reflectors or if you want to link your hotspot or your local D-Star repeater to another D-Star repeater um, where you can store commands like that that uh, are quick and easy to access. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, this feature on the THD-74 and to be fair I'll probably post another video um, to show how you can do it on an ID51 as well. But with the D74 in the DR mode, you can see I have it tuned to my hotspot. I'm hitting the two select menu by hitting the up arrow key and holding it. And there's the reflector option that many of us are very familiar with, but there's another one that is known as individual and many of us may have passed by that wondering what on earth is that used for um, I've discovered with some experimentation that it's actually a really cool place where you can hide commands so you can quickly QSY to reflectors of your favorite ones or you can link your hotspot or your D-Star repeater uh, to an individual D-Star repeater somewhere else. So a repeater-to-repeater -repeater link, or you can connect your hotspot to a remote repeater, and you can store commands for that sort of thing here in this individual area. Uh, I'm going to go into the individual menu just to give you an idea what I've added so far. I only have four entries right now. And these are the commands. Uh, the first one you'll see says NS9RC space BL. That is a link command to connect my hotspot, or if I'm on a local D-Star repeater, to connect that hotspot or that repeater that I'm talking through to the NS9RC repeater's Bravo module and that is a link command. So I'll give you an example of how that works. Now I've highlighted the NS9RC uh, Bravo module link command and you'll notice I have it located or, or, or in the uh, to select field on the radio. So now with my hotspot tuned into this I can just simply kerchunk Let me try it again. Open spot connected to NS9RC Bravo. Okay. As you just heard, I've connected my open spot 2 to the NS9RC Bravo module. That is a Chicago uh, B module repeater. Now that my hotspot is connected, the proper thing to do then would be to go to to select again, hit reflector, use reflector, and I'm ready to QSO into that repeater. And if there's any traffic there that hears me, or if there's any QSO going on, I should be able to hear them coming back to me. Or I can just monitor that repeater from afar. I'm down here in Tampa, Florida, so that's uh, quite a distance away. So this is a way that you can store link commands to individual repeaters or individual reflectors uh, that you want to store as favorites. Okay, um, we'll do another one. I'm going into individual. 
Here is a repeater link command to the VK5RWN Charlie module link command. That is the VK5RWN 2 meter repeater, which happens to be in Adelaide, Australia. So I hit the enter key, load that into the to select field, key up my hotspot with a quick kerchunk and then wait. Open spot connected to BK5RWN Charlie. And of course once you've confirmed connection to select menu, reflector, use reflector, and there you go. You're ready to queue so on that uh, repeater from my hotspot all the way across the world. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you add these commands into that area? It just so happens in that individual uh, menu option, it'll hold up to 200 memory commands. That's right, 200. So I doubt you'll have more run out of space doing that. So here's how you would basically add a command to that. You go into the menu, memory, and in the memory you have memory channels. This is your regular, normally your regular FM memory channels, and then there's a thousand memory channels on the uh, Kenwood. Repeater list, call sign list. It's under call sign list. So you enter that with the enter key view list. You'll see a list of the commands that I've already added in there from before, but you'll notice in the lower right hand corner it says add. So you hit the button below the add, which is this dual AB button. You can give it a name. Uh, I'm gonna add one... I'm gonna enter name. I'm gonna call this one Tampa. So I add Tampa, or I can use the keypad, A, capital A, well, I'll make it a small A, because you can just go through small or capital by tapping it. Okay, then the letter M, letter P, letter A. I'm doing that on the keyboard. Then I hit the Enter key. And now I have to type in the actual command. So I go down to call sign. And this is where you actually type in the command. What I'm going to add here is the link command for W4RNT Bravo module, which is the Tampa D Star repeater on 440. So I highlight call sign, hit enter. This is the eight character command that will load into the UR call field when I select this, so I have to program it correctly. So first letter is W. Second letter is R, or I'm sorry, is 4, W4. Tab over, or hit... Uh, you can use the arrow selected tab to the right when you've got the correct letter. So W4R N T. That's the call sign of the repeater. Now this is where you have to be very precise as well. Again, you have to start in the far left. You see I've used five characters. There's an eight character capacity. So if I tab, 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 I run into a wall. That's the eighth character. So I want to go back one character because you need the module in the seventh field. This is the seventh field. It's a B module. So I dial it B, and then the command to link to that is the letter L. So I have W4RNT space BL. Make sure that's all eight characters. L, the module, 
and the link command have to be in the seventh and eighth character. You hit enter, and then you'll see in the lower right hand corner you have the option to write it, W-R-I-T-E. There, I did a zoom in so you get a better view of that. So I hit the key right below that, the dual AB command to write this, and you'll see that I have W4RNT space BL on this list. Now you can make this list up to 200 groups long. Okay. Now to select it, well, let's go out of the menu by hitting the push to talk. That's the quick way out with a 74. To find it again, to actually load it in to use, hit the up arrow for to select. individual scroll down to w4rnt bravo module link a unique feature since i did name it if you tab to the right or you hit the ab button the name i gave it tampa you keep tabbing that you get the the, the command or the name that you gave it Okay, once you've had it highlighted and hit the Enter key, you'll notice that it goes into the top field or the To Select field. It says W4RNT space Bravo link. That is the command to link either your hotspot or the D-Star repeater that you're talking through to the Tampa W4RNT repeater. A kerchunk. Open spot connected to W4RNT Bravo. Okay. So right now I am monitoring the W4RNT repeater through my hotspot, which I can do remotely from anywhere that there's internet. Again, to QSO, I would reflector, use reflector, and there I'm ready to talk and or monitor that repeater through my hotspot. Now, for one more example, we'll go to Menu, Memory, Call Sign List, View List, and we'll add a Reflector command. Say you're a big fan of REF or Reflector 30 Charlie. You can add Uh, I won't name this one right now. You can name it whatever you want. Reflector 30 Charlie, 30 Charlie, whatnot. I'll skip that for now. But then after you've written that or added that, you go down to call sign. And all you do is enter the command to link to 30 Charlie. Now bear in mind, remember, I'm still connected to W4RNT. I'm just programming the radio, even though I'm still connected. The command to link to Reflector 30 Charlie is... R E tab over one R E F zero three zero Charlie L for link. So REF 030 Charlie Link, all eight characters. I then enter. I then hit the dual AB under where it says the word write. And you'll see now I've added the REF 030 Charlie Link command. Now that it's stored, I can access it very quickly to select menu, up to individual, scroll down to that link, kerchunk. Open spot connected to REF030 Charlie. I'm connected to 30 Charlie, just remember, reflector. Use Reflector and you're ready for QSO. 
Anyway, I thought that was something very useful for the uh, Kenwood THD74 where you can store up to 200 link commands of various reflectors of your favorite choices and or repeaters of your various choices that you can connect your hotspot to. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or you can email me at cq2meters at yahoo.com. 73s from K9WLW.